Hey everybody, Dr. Ray here. Today what I wanna do is I wanna talk about overlays, streaming overlays. What does that mean? What does it look like? How do you create one? How do you use it with OBS? All right, it's really, really a very simple, I'm gonna start very simple and show you how to actually do it and it can get very complicated. All right, but we're gonna start simple because it is kind of easy. The most simple way to explain what an overlay is, it's simply something over top of your stream, like an image. Um, you can have video as an overlay. You can have animations as an overlay. You can have interactions with things like subscriber count and chats as an overlay. But we're going to start with the real basic of an image. Most streams have some kind of image overlay in them. I'm going to show you some really easy ways to do that. All right. So first of all, of all, if you look up on my screen here, I have a couple examples of overlays. You can see right here on the screen, you have a a background, they have a latest subscriber, donations, name, a place to put you know, their video and some links. Another example, very same kind of thing, right? Um, we have just a, a picture, some links down at the bottom. Another example, very sim similar, where we have maybe them streaming, we have some links to social media, and then we have like their actual gameplay here with some more information on top. All right. Really easy. So why, why first, the first question is why bother using this? Why not just stream your game and have like yourself in the corner or something like that? You can absolutely do that, but adding an overlay um, can add some nice visual organization to your stream. Now, having said that, I somewhat don't may want to make sure I, I hit on this point that just because you add an overlay doesn't mean it's good. It can actually detract from your stream. So you want to make sure that you're, when you create one and add one, that you don't have all kinds of funky stuff. You know, I feel like we're in like the late nineties with like the dancing baby gif animation on the screen. Like you don't need that in your, you the, think of your purpose and actually make it so that it organizes your stream, makes it look nicer. Have everything there for a reason. Don't just have goofy animations if they don't make sense. Maybe they make sense, then you should have them. So when you're just, and I'm just using that as an example, when you create things for your stream, make sure you're doing it with a purpose. All right, so the first question people might have, you know, if you don't have much technical skill and you've, you've finally figured out streaming and you'd like to have an overlay, the most easy and basic way to add an overlay is to simply get one online for free. There are tons of them. Pull over to my screen here, and this is a quick Google search. Free stream over overlays. Look, just how many, I mean, just look, every single link. OBS overlay free, best animated Twitch free, 15 best Twitch overlays, free, free, awesome, free, right? Tons of them. So there are tons and tons of overlays out there that you can simply download and use. There's a bunch of free ones and there's a bunch of paid ones. Whether you're gonna get a free or paid one maybe um, depends on the purpose of your channel. You know, if you're making money, your goal is to make money. Maybe you need one that's very professional and you should be paying or making sure it's done really well. But if you're just playing around, having some fun with streaming, it's okay, perfectly okay to find a free one. And don't get me wrong, so there's some free ones out there that are absolutely stunning and excellent. So don't just think that price makes a difference. There are some paid ones that are terrible too. All right, so that's the first. That's the easiest way to get an uh, overlay is to, to make one, is to get a free one. Um, all right, there are other ways to make overlays though. So when you look at most tutorials online, what I find is they a lot of times they recommend Adobe Photoshop. And I do agree that Adobe Photoshop is the hands down the best way to make an overlay if you're going to do it because it's a professional graphic piece of software. Um, I personally use have used Adobe Photoshop for uh, maybe like 23 years. I'm giving away my age here, but I've been using I and I, I not only do I use Adobe Photoshop, I teach Adobe Photoshop to my students. Um, so I, I teach courses on computer interface design, mobile interface design. I, I really get into Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator and other graphic software. But to create an overlay, you'd wanna use Adobe Photoshop, but it does cost money. And for some people, like if you're a student at a university, like my university, we offer Adobe Photoshop for free for all students. So if you're a student at my school, UNCW, you guys are in luck, you can use this for free. But let's say you're not. Um, you might not have access to it. So there are some cool free uh, software programs out there to do this. So first of all, if you just Google search like free overlay editor, 
There are some free ways to make it. Um, I'm not thrilled with some of those services right now. Now, if you're watching this video in like six months from now, that might completely change because there might be a new service that completely blows me away. But I still suggest making your own. Um, let me show you a piece of software. So this is a software called Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R. I've been teaching this software and using it in my courses for probably 10, uh, actually 12 years now. Um, I've been teaching students who have edited photos that this is a free alternative to Adobe Photoshop. There's also another one called GIMP, which is closer to Photoshop and more complicated. But the cool thing about this piece of software is that it runs right on your computer. You don't need to install or download anything. So Pixlr, and there is a paid version that has more features, but they give you a basic version that allows you to create some cool stuff and you can create an overlay. I'm not going through tutorial photo editing right now because I have other Photoshop tutorials that, and Pixlr and GIMP tutorials that show you how to do all that, but I'm just telling you the software used. So the other one, as I mentioned, the third piece of software is GIMP. It's free, it's open source, and it's as powerful, if not more powerful than Photoshop. It's maybe a tad more complicated, but that's only because I'm so used to Photoshop. If you started with GIMP, it wouldn't be too bad. But Pixlr works right on your browser. So if you're like on your parents' machine or work machine and you can't install anything, you can use Pixlr and you don't have to worry about that. So Photoshop's my number one. GIMP's probably my number two alternative to Photoshop. That's free and open source. And then Pixlr is the free version on your browser, super easy to use. So if you're gonna try to create your own, those are my go-to sources. But there are still other ways to create your own, right? I mentioned there's websites out there that allow you to create them. I'm just not super impressed with those just yet. All right, so let's talk about an overlay in OBS. All right, so I've got OBS open. And as you can see on the screen here, you can actually see, uh, an overlay that I've created. And this overlay is actually something that I use when I'm making one of my shows and I'm actually recording Zoom. So the video in the background is Zoom, which you can't see right now because I'm not streaming Zoom right now. Um, but I have a, some text and then I have an image. And the image has my name, my website, and I can put this image wherever I am on the screen. It's an overlay with three components to it. So sometimes an overlay is one huge giant image one giant image, and sometimes it overlays multiple components. These are just things over top of my stream. The cool thing about OBS is when I add an overlay, like, like my name here, if I don't like it, I can simply hide it, add it, hide it. You know, one of the cool things about OBS, I've talked about like scenes and how to add things and stuff like that. I'm not doing that right now. What I wanna do is show you how you would create like your own, uh, I'm gonna show you how to add a uh, overlay to OBS, and I'm gonna show you how you would make like something like I have here on the screen of your own in OBS. So let's go to a new, brand new, this isn't actually brand new, this is a uh, uh, just a demo version that I've been playing around with to uh, just for examples for my videos. The first thing I wanna show you here is how to add an overlay that you've created. So you would have to click the plus image, and you would find your image and add it. Now, if you're doing something special like adding advanced things like subscriber count and other things like that, that's a different process. I'm just showing you simply how to do the image portion. Um, all right, next thing. Let's say I'm like, well, I wanna create my own, right? Uh, I wanna create my own overlay and OBS, just some basic stuff. I just want like some text or some basic stuff. Um, you know, something like my other one right here, like real basic, like just some text, a, a little thing that says live would be cool maybe, just anything like that. How would I do that? All right, really easy. So in OBS, I click the little plus and there are two things that I use to create that, color source and text. Text is simply me just clicking text, you know, giving it a name, adding in some text, my overlay. You know, I can select the font and all that good stuff, click okay. Click the size and I can put it, you know, I can put a little live button like right here, you know, my overlay. And how did I make that little red dot really easily to make that live thing? I clicked color source, create new, pick a name and simply select your color that you'd like. You know, you got a great selection here in OBS. I selected red for that. Click OK, click OK. And it's huge on my screen, but I can make it really, really small, which is what I did. Need to make it a little bigger to select it here. Got to use my arrows. You 
And that's it. That's how I made that little square. So you can make some very basic overlays just in OBS, but it's much better to add an actual image into it and then play around with it. Um, you know, it's not, it's not too difficult. Creating an overlay is pretty simple. The first piece of advice I have for you is to figure out exactly what you want to do. What do you want it to look like? What is your goal here? You know, what are you trying to create? Um, you know, what should it look like? One of the things I like to do is sketch things out, do a little paper prototype of what I want it to look like before I start creating. Or just do, you know, as I so showed you the Google search, take a look at other streams or look at some streamers you like and say, well, I like that, I like that, I like that. And then put it together, basically create it. And as you get more advanced, you know, you've created your overlay image, you know how you want it to look. And once you do get more advanced and want to start adding things like chat and everything else into your overlay, it's really easy to do. You simply click the little plus down here. You know, I don't want to get into it in this video, but you're going to click browser and you're going to have to find the link for your whatever it is you're trying to display. You'd click OK, you'd actually enter it in and you'd be able to display that within your overlay. So that's another thing that so I just wanted to show that really quick. I'm going to create another Another video that shows you how to do that really well um, but that's it that's just an overlay is really simple it's as basic as just an, an image it's as basic as just adding text on top of your stream really easy to create it can get more complicated it can cost money it can require some graphic design skill set um, but I just wanted you to know all that I hope this helps clear up exactly what they are and I hope you have a great day remember to subscribe later I'll